What is the biggest surprise for Netherlands foreigner coming to India? Hi, my name is Ivana and I have been living here in Bangalore for now three years. In this video, I'm going to tell you about seven things that surprised me the most when I came to India for the first time. And the last few are going to be about education and Indian festivals, so make sure to stick to the end. I would also like to give thanks to the sponsor of today's video, LG. This phone, the LG G8 X is by far one of the best positive surprises 2020 has shown me. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you why this phone is so absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is a preview. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get started. One of the biggest surprises for me as a Netherlands foreigner when I came to India for the first time back in 2015 was the abundance of data. Internet was so incredibly accessible in India and it has only gotten more accessible. You can literally get data in India with a bag of chips. Look at this, one GB free data with a bag of Doritos. And it's not even a big bag small bag you get one gb of data it's awesome for the setup of the lg g8 x think dual screen phone we have a dual screen case and the lg mobile phone open the case until it's completely flat then insert the lg mobile phone until it connects in the second screen part fold the second screen until you see the display screen light up now when you open the lg dual screen phone you will have two mobile screens which is absolutely brilliant for multitasking the lg dual screen phone folds 360 degrees outward and you can use it in any angle which is comfortable for you i am a super super heavy data user and i love working simultaneously on two screens at the same time, answering comments on the left, answering emails on the right, checking social media on the left, watching YouTube on the right. There's even a widescreen mode for more convenience when you need it. This phone is absolutely, absolutely brilliant for multitasking and getting work done so much faster and so much more efficient. And I'm so grateful that the abundance of data in India enables me to actually make full use of that. My second biggest surprise in India was the ethnic wear diversity. While watching Bollywood in the Netherlands while I was growing up, I had only seen saris. But coming to India, I realized that Indian ethnic wear is so much more broader than only saris. Next to saris, you have salwar kameez, you have kurta with leggings, which is a little bit different variation. You also have lehengas, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So for me, it was incredibly exciting to discover Indian fashion influencers. Sejal Kumar is one of my favorites, Komal Pandi, Ashna Shroff, Akriti Rana reminds me to always, always wear bright lipstick. For me, it's just such an exciting journey journey through Indian fashion actually discovering new things because in the west we actually never see much of that so this might be a very very girly thing but i love how the lg g8x enables me to scroll instagram on the left and actually take ootd pictures inspired by my favorite indian fashion influencers on the right i know it's super super extra but once you try it you're never going back. <laughs> Number three, Indian food diversity. In the Netherlands, there are Indian restaurants, but in general, they only serve very typical cliche North Indian food like butter chicken or palak paneer. Don't get me wrong, those dishes are absolutely delicious, but coming to India, my mind was absolutely blown and I was so surprised to discover how much diversity there already is in Indian food in just one state. So if you say that you know Indian food because you have had butter chicken once in your life, you're really, really <laughs> missing out. Obviously, because of this whole pandemic, it has become almost impossible to go outside, let alone travel all over India to explore Indian food. But luckily, here in India, we have Swiggy. So one of my favorite, favorite foodie hobbies, you can call it like that, is opening up Swiggy on the left screen of my LG G8X phone, browsing a lot of restaurants and a lot of foods that I don't know, and then Googling them on the right screen or watching YouTube videos of people eating that dish. If it's something that really impresses me or surprises me, I will order it on Swiggy and just get it home. So apparently today I am eating kappa for lunch with putu 
over here, which is pressed steamed rice and kadla curry over here. But kappa, I have learned, is a cassava with coconut dish from Kerala. The more you know, the more you can eat, my friends. <laughs> I am quite sure that this is not the right combination to eat all of these foods. But I have also learned that Indians actually hate following rules. And I have also learned why they hate following rules. I will explain that in a bit. Basically, you can't do anything wrong in India because, you know, if you're not following the rules, you're pretty cool. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, I am very excited to try this. Mm. Oh yeah, it's actually really, really good with that kadla curry. Kadla curry is black chickpeas. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, this is a wonderful hobby that will make you discover a lot of foods that you didn't know before and that are worth trying. Kappa, 1010 can recommend. The fourth biggest surprise for me in India as a Netherlands foreigner was the mentality towards education. In the Netherlands, education can sometimes be taken a little bit for granted. We even have a phrase for this, zesjes kultuur, which literally translated in English means sixes culture. Dutch students sometimes find it super, super cool to not try their best in schools and universities at all. They brag about passing with only sixes and basically spending most of their time doing anything else than getting good grades in school. I can imagine Indian moms watching this and be like, excuse me, what? <laughs> Because in India, that is not the case at all. Indian moms in particular are very, very strict about their school results with their children. So if you are an Indian student and you come home to your mom with a score of less than 95%, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> so the pressure and the motivation to do really, really well in school here in India is a lot higher than in the Netherlands. In India, I actually feel very inspired by Indian students because I believe that you should never stop learning and they are actually motivating me to keep learning more and more. And one of the people who I have just recently discovered is Dr. Devdutta Patanaik. A lot of his lectures are actually available on YouTube where he explains a lot about Indian mythology, compares it to the West, and also implements Indian mythology in daily modern life. I love watching his lectures on my LG G8X dual screen phone because I can watch his lectures anytime, anywhere on one screen and then take notes on my Google Drive on the other screen. I am the type of person who absolutely needs to take notes in order to remember things, but actually this way, it also makes it so much easier for me to find those notes later on and also to share them with other people. So I absolutely love how the LG G8X dual screen phone is making my learning process so much easier. This also goes for the next thing that very much surprised me in India and it is the emotional value of Hindi or a local language. In the Netherlands, obviously we love our national language, which is Dutch. We even actually have one officially registered local language, which is Fries in the Northern province of Friesland. But the level of emotions that come up in Indians when you start speaking in Hindi or the local language of a certain state is incredible. I never thought that it would make such an impact, but it really does. Obviously now I am learning Hindi, in case you don't know, I have this whole Hindi challenge, which is going a lot slower than I thought, but still progress over perfection. Let's keep it at that. And I love how the LG G8X dual screen phone is helping me with that because one of my favorite ways to learn Hindi is actually by watching Bollywood songs, listening to them, and then on the other screen, having the lyrics translated in English. This makes it so much easier for me to learn new words, expand my vocabulary, but also to get a grip on the grammar, which is something that I usually need to listen a lot for to the language instead of you know just memorizing rules i've always been really really bad at that even in dutch i never used to remember any grammar rules or anything i would just listen to the language continuously and then i would pick up on the grammar rules 
automatically and this is actually what I'm doing with a lot of Bollywood songs and Hindi. Another thing that really surprised me in India in private life but also in business life was the slower pace of life. In the Netherlands we are so extremely productivity and efficiency focused with very very strict deadlines that I am quite intense about. However in India I am really really learning how to adapt to a slower pace of life and I am enjoying it so much as well. I was so surprised to learn how a slower pace of life gives me actually so much more joy. So I love stepping out these days, just taking a walk around my garden while I'm chatting with family and friends, seeing things that I normally wouldn't see and actually also capturing them because I'm just taking my time. It doesn't all have to be rushed, not everything has to be efficient. I'm finding so much more more joy in life by just slowing down, looking around and connecting to the people I love. I've also discovered that there is a great joy in just being together but not necessarily constantly having to talk to each other. I think that's a different level of comfort that you can reach with people. One of the brilliant things for this with the LG G8X dual screen phone that I discovered with Neha earlier this year while we were taking a train journey is that you can actually watch YouTube and Netflix at the same time on the separate screens. So while we were catching up on both our favorite shows, we were also very much enjoying each other's company. Time with each other doesn't always have to be super exciting with amazing activities and a lot of effort. It can be just being together and enjoying your favorite show. The last point that very much surprised me about India is the riches of festivals. I am living for how many festivals India has. In the Netherlands, we traditionally mostly only celebrate Christian holidays, I would say. Christmas, New Year, Easter, but it is definitely not as rich as in India. I'll tell you what, in the past two months we have already celebrated these festivals. Onam, which is traditionally mostly celebrated by people from Kerala. Then we have Gampati, which is very, very large in Mumbai. Then we have Navratri. Then we have Durga Puja, which is very, very big in Kolkata. And now the biggest festival that's coming up is Diwali. Diwali is my favorite Indian festival. I love it honestly just as much as I love Christmas and New Year. I think the story behind Diwali is that the evil god Ravan was defeated. I hope I'm not butchering this story. And then actually you also honor goddess Lakshmi for prosperity in the future. Please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but that's kind of the general story that I have learned about it. What I love most about Diwali, aside from the food, of course, is the beautiful, beautiful decorations that people put in their houses. I have been absolutely privileged to celebrate Diwali with Indian families in the past, but obviously Obviously this year I will be decorating my own house therefore recently I've been spending so much time on Pinterest researching Indian Diwali decors and I'm so happy that on my LG phone I can actually shop simultaneously on Amazon for all those Diwali decors it's so much fun and it's actually very efficient if you can shop on two screens you know getting inspiration from one screen and then immediately shopping it on the other screen. In case you can't tell, I am extremely excited to decorate my house for Diwali this year. I will make a separate video on that, but yeah, the richness of festivals in India, it surprised me so much. I think it's gonna take me a long, long time to completely comprehend how many festivals there are in India, but I don't mind that at all because it keeps things fun and I will celebrate everything. If you're watching this video as a foreigner, I would really, really like to know what surprised you the most about India. And if you are an Indian, what do you wish foreigners would know more about your country? Let me know down in the comments below. If you would like to know more about the LG G8X dual screen phone, I have listed the information down in the description below. Maybe, maybe you want to spoil somebody for Diwali. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!